we will often encounter boundary value problems that contain an unknown parameter lambda. In these problems, we need to determine both this parameter lambda and the solution of the boundary value problem y of x. These problems are called eigenvalue problems. How can we deal with these problems? And why are they called like this? Did we not have an eigenvalue problem in linear algebra? We will learn all of this in this video. So we are looking at the following problem as an example. y double plus lambda times y equals 0 with the boundary values 0 and 0 at x equals 0 and x equals 1. So we have to find lambda as part of the problem. We distinguish three cases, lambda negative, 0 and positive. So if lambda is negative, we can set lambda equals minus mu squared and assume mu is positive. So let us take a look into that case first. Well, if we have the negative uh, lambdas, we can rewrite our, our problem as follows. Uh, we can write down the characteristic equation, r squared minus mu squared equals zero. So r equals plus or minus mu. And the general solution is the sum of those two exponentials. And then we try to satisfy both boundary values. So what do we get? y of zero. Plugging in x equals 0, we find c1 times 1 plus c2 times 1 equals 0. So that's the first one. So that means c1 equals minus c2, and we can rewrite our y as this. Then we try to satisfy our second condition, y of 1. Now, if we then plug in uh, x equals 1 over here, we get c1 times e to the power minus mu minus e to the power mu equals 0. Now, the only way to satisfy this equation is by setting c1 also to 0. So we are only left with a trivial solution. Moving on to the second case, lambda equals 0. So that means that we have y double equals 0, or y prime is a constant of the one integration, or y equals c1 times x plus c2 after the second integration. Plug in the first condition, y, equal, y of 0, then we get c1 times 0 plus c2, equals 0, so c2 equals 0, which means that we have y of x equals c1 times x, and we use the second condition, y at x equals 1 equals c1 also has to be 0, so c1 equals 0, and again we only have the trivial solution. Moving on to the third case, let's see whether we find something non-trivial now. So we try lambda positive, so lambda equals mu squared. So then we have y double plus mu squared times y equals 0. Use the characteristic equation again and you find the general solution y of x equals a combination of sine and cosine. First we set y of 0 equals 0, that means c1 times 0 plus c2 times 1 equals 0 or c2 equals 0. So we are left with c1 times sine x. Let's see what happens with the second condition y at 1 equals 0. That means that we have sine of mu equals 0, but now we find something not trivial. Because we can satisfy the equation sine of mu equals 0, if we pick, for example, mu equals pi or 2 pi or 3 pi, so we now find uh, non-trivial solutions, mu equals a multiple of pi and times pi and equals 1, 2, 3 and so on. And if we set mu equals n pi, then uh, the lambda equals mu squared, so lambda n is an n pi squared. Those are our eigenvalues and our functions, our solutions, are the sine of mu times x or sine of n pi times x. So there are our eigenfunctions. So now what's the connection with uh, linear algebra? Well, in, uh, uh, in, in this problem, we wrote y double plus lambda y equals 0, which we can rewrite by putting the lambda y on the other side as minus the second derivative work on y equals lambda times y. Then we find eigenvalues, lambda n, and eigenfunctions, y equals phi n of x. Now, how does this relate to linear algebra? Now, what we did in linear algebra, we had some a times v equals lambda times v, where this lambda is the eigenvalue, and v is the eigenvector. So you really see that they are kind of similar. The second derivative plays the role of the matrix. The v plays the role of y, so eigenvector versus eigenfunction, so the same name. 
and the lambda plays the role of lambda. So eigenvalues again, eigenvalue. So that's the relation to the linear algebra problem. They are in fact very, very, very similar, uh, as you see. So that's why we use the same names.